you didn't know, your girl passed a driving test. <laughs> I know you're all applauding at home. Quite a few of you have been asking me a lot of questions on Instagram, so I said, do you want me to just do a YouTube video whilst I get ready and answer questions? And you guys said yes. So here's a little chatty get ready with me slash Q&A slash story time on my driving journey. So let's go. So I have got a couple of questions, but I'm also just gonna like basically before I answer the questions, just um, tell you like my entire story of my driving so i started learning a long time ago but i took a break in last summer because i was going on holiday a lot so i wasn't at home so i literally couldn't take any lessons i started my lessons in the end of february last year so i was learning for a, if you add it all up maybe about a year but i took june july and august off in 2022 that's how long i was learning for just to preface you I had a very bad fear of driving before I ever started driving. Like, it was bad. Like I'd been in a few car crashes. It had traumatised me to the point where I just did not want to drive. When I was 17 and everyone was learning to drive. I just never had the desire to because I just I just thought I was going to always live in a city centre. So I just didn't bother. I need to haul to be nearer to Chris. And I had to learn to drive because this area, because it's like a city, but where I live, it's like a village if you want to call it that. You have to drive to get anywhere here, like, you really do. I did automatic, can I just say, because your girl's not doing manual, I couldn't wrap my head around it. I just could not understand. It's just too much to do. By the way guys, if you want to know what any products I use, if you spot them, then you'll know what they are, but let me know and I'll put it in the comments below. So yeah, um, I started learning to drive, as I said, I did automatic. Because I couldn't wrap my head around manual. I've had so many people ask me. Um, I'm scared to do automa I'm scared to do manual, but everyone takes the mic out if you're not at mic. This is my thought process behind it, right? Everything's gonna be at mic anyway, because most like it's going all electric in it. And I mean 99% of car well not 99% of cars, but a lot of cars nowadays are automatic. And if there's a car that you want and you see me in manual, I can guarantee you can get it in automatic. So if you know in your brain that you're never ever ever gonna drive a manual and you're scared about doing it, don't do it, just drive automatic. I don't see the problem in it at all. I don't see, like, I don't get it. So I started learning to drive and I, as I say, I had a fear of driving and I can promise you, after my first lesson, I was fine. Like, it just completely goes. I can't describe it to you, you build it so much, you build it up so much in your head. I was like really anxious before my first driving lesson and I was saying to Chris like I am not going and he made me go which I'm glad he did um but my instructor was so nice as well he was called Phil um if you live in like the whole area he um works for the elite driving school I believe that's what it is so if you want a good automatic instructor ask for Phil. I started learning with him he was so patient with me can I just say like like considering I was like terrified, not recommended a better driving instructor to be honest. I did I think 50 hours of driving lessons. By the way, there is no set hours that you need to do, like you do as many as you want. I could have done a lot less, um, but I just wanted to make sure that I was ready. Do you know what I mean? I am an overdoer, so I wanted to overdo it a bit, so I felt completely ready to take my test. And that might seem a lot to people, but I don't care. After doing about 50 hours, my instructor was like, right, I think you're ready for your test. Um, but they didn't have anywhere I live um, for a while because it's a really bad backlog. So I did mine in Bridlington, which is about 45 minutes to an hour from where I live. Um, so it wasn't that bad. It was annoying coming, like, when you know the process. So my first test, I went and I failed. Well, and I cried my eyes out for days. The reason I failed was my own fault and I was being quite stupid. I thought a road was one way and I wasn't, and it wasn't, and I positioned myself on the right hand side of the road. I turned right when it was a normal road, so if someone was on the other side, I would have killed them. That's why I failed, but I only had three minors um, in the other one. Then, booked another one for um, a couple of weeks later because my instructor has them all booked up. Most instructors do have tests like booked up in advance. Um, so yeah, he already had some booked, thank goodness. So he booked me in um, and I went to go take my, what was supposed to be my second test. I got there and I tell you, and we got an email as I got to the test centre 
where which was an hour away from home that said your test has been cancelled due to bad weather conditions and i'm i just did a driving lesson around bridlington beforehand and i'm looking around thinking the weather's fine it was sunny it was like i don't know if you remember but like a couple of weeks ago it was like a proper sunny spring day it was like the first one we'd had that was the day of my f that one and i thought right whatever so we had to go home he booked me another one in for the week after then i got there and it was cancelled due to strikes so i'd had two cancelled and to be honest i think it was a blessing in disguise because i am an overthinker and i am telling you now i failed my first test because i was overthinking it and getting too anxious and way too nervous whereas i'd had two cancelled i'd gone through the process of walking into the test center twice and not being able to do my test so I, this one literally all my friends were like why are you not like bothered why are you not talking about it because like i was talking about it loads on the first ones um and i was just like i'm just not bothered like i'd gone through the process i'd gone through the motions too many times now to care but not actually the motions of doing my tests like i've gone through the motions of getting to the test center and that's what made me nervous like actually walking in there so i was just so over it which is a blessing in disguise because my nerves were just gone like I had barely any nerves um, which is very bizarre for me because I suffer really bad with anxiety so it just made no sense but yeah it was just like all the nerves in the world that just escaped my body because I just was so over the situation and I was convinced it was going to get cancelled again so I got to the test centre and my, the examiner walked in asked for my driver's licence blah 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 took me out to the car and she was like hi my name's Kirsty," and I was like that's my sister's name and like we got on really well she was just having a laugh with me like talking to me at like the right times and things like that absolutely lovely really calming perfect instructor that the per perfect examiner that I would have wanted she was quite young as well whereas the first time I took my test and I failed um the woman was horrible like actually horrible like did not care um and when I failed I got my test test and she was like unfortunately she was like unfortunately you have failed and was like really harsh and rude and I was like I don't like you <laughs> obviously I'm not gonna like someone that fails me but you know what I mean she was rude about it and she wasn't very like pandering towards or like sympathetic so obviously it's a heartbreaking thing when you fail um and she what she did not care she did not care tell this really this instructor this examiner really cared and my instructor ended up to told me afterwards actually that she used to be a driving instructor so used to teach people so that made sense because like she knows what it's like for the students so yeah and then we got back to the test centre and I wasn't expecting to pass I don't know why I didn't do anything bad I just I did make a few mistakes but um yeah I wasn't expecting to pass I just put in my head that I wasn't gonna pass so I just wasn't expecting to um but yeah she went congratulations you have passed your driving test and I was like I literally went what are you joking like that's when she went um no <laughs> I was like no you're lying and then I started crying my eyes out because it's just been such a long journey never thought I'd actually get to the point where I would take a test so yeah it's been a long long process um but yeah that's how I passed my test uh, I passed with nine minors and I'll read you my minors in a second um but yeah um after I've read you my minors I'll go on to answering your guys's questions but that is the general consensus of my driving journey and how I got to the stage where I passed my test okay so here it is you passed your category b driving test on the 4th of april 2023 in bridlington these are my driving faults so progress dash appropriate speed twice so i was going too slow twice because yeah and she the woman was so funny she was like you were driving like a grandma for like quite a bit of that and i was like yeah no sorry and then i got one for speeding because i went 33 i want to say because i was trying to go i was trying to stop from a 40 and i was going to 33 um Control steering, yeah, I swung out a bit on the corner. Just a little bit too much, not too much though. She said it was fine, but she had to map me down for it. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Position slash normal stop, which was one. Um, yeah, I got to a traffic light and there was a bike lane here and I stopped a bit too far back. So that's why, that's why I did that. Use of mirrors and signalling, I did a late indication. It says use of mirrors dash signalling. So I did a very late indication. I was sat at lights and forgot to indicate, so I indicated. Response to signs slash signal traffic lights. Um, again, with that situation, I wasn't. I didn't respond to traffic lights very quickly. Um, reverse park, right, so my manoeuvre I got, which I'm sure someone's asked that, was parallel park. Now, my favourite 
my favourite manoeuvre is parallel park. I'm really good at it. But this one time, guarantee it would be me, I messed up my parallel park completely. Well, I didn't. I, I corrected it, so that's why I got a minor. So I got a, a minor for control. Um, so that was me correcting it. And then I got a minor for observation, so I must have missed a mirror at some point. Um, but yeah, I don't think that they were quite that, that bad, to be honest. Nine minors, but none of them were really that bad. Do you know what I mean? I ain't complaining about that. And a pass is a pass. Who cares how many manners you get? Manners weren't supposed to be there. They wouldn't be there. So yeah, now I'm going to answer your guys' questions. I just got this new blush. It's a rare beauty blush and I really want to try it. So that's what we're going to do. Someone asked how much is the test roughly? Um, I'm pretty sure it's either 60 or £63. Pound. I can't remember. Somewhere around there. Um, but yeah, I got refunded for um, a few, like the two that got cancelled for mine. Um, no, sorry, I got refunded for the one where they were on strike, but I didn't get refunded for the bad weather because that's not their fault. Um, even though it wasn't bad weather. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, but then overall, my lessons, so half of my lessons I got gifted from a company called Adrian Flux. Um, they insure cars, they're very, very good. Um, and you can insure yourself, like, this is not a sponsored video, by the way, I'm just letting you know. You can insure yourself for like a small amount of time on your parents' cars and things like that. Um, so yeah, they paid for half of my lessons and I paid for the rest. Um, so I'm not too sure, but in my experience, automatic lessons are more expensive than normal ones. Um, than manual ones, sorry. Um, so mine were, I think, £38 per lesson. Um, but it depends where you go, who you go to, where you live and stuff. Like, it's all different prices everywhere. But a driving test everywhere is a standard, like, 60 I think it's either 60 or £63, that's a standard. That blush is so pretty. I am done. Selena Gomez, you slay it every time. Someone said, what did you do to help the nerves? Like I said, my test where I passed, I really wasn't that nervous because I'd just, I'd, I'd been through the motions too many times already, so I just didn't even, like, react, really. Um, but in the first one, I took some Calms um, medication tablet things that you can literally get from, like, Sainsbury's for a year of anxiety. However, do not get the ones with alcohol in them because obviously you can't drive um, when, you've got, when you're intoxicated. Um, so don't do that. Um, eat a banana. That's a slow release of energy. I did eat a banana on the day of the, of the, pes of the test that I passed. Um, and stay hydrated, 100%. But yeah, just just breathe. I know it's a really big thing. I do get that. And it is a very it is very intense and a very big deal. But you've just you've just got a... Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not like you can't do it again. You can do it as many times as you want. Um, I would recommend not telling that many people though, because the first time I took my test, I told literally everyone I know, and that put a lot of pressure on me. Um, but the test that I just recently, the test that I passed, I barely, I didn't tell any of my family when it was. Um, I told Chris and Chris's family because I'm living with them, and two of my friends, three of my friends, and that was it. So I didn't tell nearly as many people, so I felt a lot more less under pressure and also do not try to get a car before you um pass because it puts so much more pressure on you because you will really really want the car so then you put a lot more pressure on yourself so i didn't bother i waited until afterwards someone also asked what car have you got i've got an audi a3 um s line black edition that's what i've got it's taken a while to get used to the actual car because obviously it's completely different to your instructor's car that's one thing i'll say your car is will be, feel a lot different to your instructor's car um because obviously it's a different car but just take time take time i'm still learning i'm still processing that car someone said how many faults did you get i got nine first in bridlington um which route did you take i can't even describe to you my first one i took a route through like this is a seaside town so i took it through the seaside which wasn't that bad to be fair, but it was a good time of day to do it, so it wasn't that bad. But my route, the, my route the second time um, was just through a bunch of houses, um, so it was actually all right. It was really quiet. Oh, I'm on low battery. You are kidding me? No. So I just went for this work off camera because it was about to die. So I'm just going to answer a few questions and hope the camera doesn't die. So give me a second. Someone said, "Did you pass your theory first time?" Yes, I did, and I passed it on the pass mark on the multiple choice, and then I. Passed the hazard perception, I think about, I don't even know what my score was, but yeah, I passed first time. Uh, was Bridlington a good place to do it? Yes, I found it a lot easier to drive in Bridlington than I did in Hull because the drivers are nicer and it's just nice and quiet roads. Someone said, what time 
what number did you pass um or what time did you pass i passed second time best drivers pass second time <laughs> Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the consensus of the questions. I've got a few more, but my camera's gonna die, unfortunately. I feel like I covered quite a lot in the video, so yeah. If you want to see any other videos like this, let me know. I want some suggestions in the comments, if you don't mind, guys. Uh, and make sure you subscribe and try to be a lot more active on here. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.